my audible can you hear me don't just listen to me please do think about what i am trying to say as well a very warm welcome to be a vessel youtube channel today i am here to talk about burma do you know where is burma actually burma was the previous name of myanmar and we all know that myanmar is our neighboring country and i think most of you know about what myanmar is going through now it is going through a military coup so most of you would have heard about the news of what is happening in myanmar presently and how people are protesting but do you know the actual reason behind military rule why did it start and when did it start what was the reason behind military rule coming into place so today we'll be discussing about why actually military rule was there in myanmar at the first place and secondly how india escaped from military rule in history i hope this video will be interesting for you so watch till the end myanmar is known for its diversity like india it has diverse ethnic groups so when did it start and what was the problem in myanmar When India was under colonial rule the Burmese army were under the belief of being the strongest army and can conquer the neighboring places they did start winning and this boosted their confidence to a certain extent but at some point they lost to the britishers and the problem started there basically when you see what was the problem in myanmar it started during the time of colonization so during the time of colonization what happened was they were divided the society started getting divided because of their racial groups basically the uh, britishers tried to divide them on the basis of their uh, racial groups or their ethnicity and at this point there were also instances wherein the britishers tried to erase the history of myanmar by burning their uh, libraries so what is the importance of history in a person's life so basically history tries and helps us to get our identity it allows us to know about our roots it helps us to get to know more about ourselves our ancestors and so on so history plays a really important role so when you talk about what happened in myanmar there was identity issues which started people didn't know which racial group they belonged to they didn't know what was their ethnicity and at this point everyone were in the situation of chaos and there was a lot of division in the society the britishers wanted labor from india to profit more and at the same point what happens is they wanted to take a census to know how many indians were there and how many people were burmese as such at that point when they asked some of the indians about what caste they belong to or what creed they belong to the indians were uh, hesitant to reveal it they either took the form of the other caste or they took the form of the other race that was uh, relating to their identity identity issues to certain extent such that let me tell you an example In the same house the elders would think that they belong to a certain racial group but the youngsters would think that they belong to a different racial group that was the extent of where there was confusion with regards to their identity this was the problem with Myanmar there was a lot of chaos when it came to the ethnicity when it came to the racial hierarchy as such now let's fast forward history to 1948 This was the time where Myanmar had got its independence from the uh, colonizers that is from the Britishers and the first major problem after independence was the question of whether to choose communist or democratic regime they chose democracy but shortly there were so many problems with the ethnic minorities but still democracy was continued for a decade and during this period the chinese forces crossed the border hence the army became battle hardened machines which means that they were toughened by the experience of battle and finally due to the chaos in the society due to the uh, identity issues due to the uh, problems of the ethnic minority and moreover uh, uh, the battle Uh, field that was there in the uh, Myanmar uh, they chose to seize power in 1962 this was how the military rule in Myanmar began 
But what was the exact reason for why India didn't go through a military rule and how come most of the neighboring countries of India went through a military rule? There was one specific reason for how India escaped from military rule. You see the neighboring countries, most of the countries were in the state of chaos when they went into the military rule. In India, they made a planned procedure of coup proofing that is to ensure that the military rule didn't exist to make sure that the military didn't get enough power to start a uh, rule in itself. So this is how they stopped military rule from happening in India. So let's see what were the steps that were taken. So when you talk about coup proofing, it means that it is a measure of check and balances. This is to ensure that the government does not give enough power to the military to take over the country. The few measures they took was they diversified ethnic composition of the armed forces so that patriotism is the prime importance. And they also ensured that they did not allow military authorities to make public statement especially in matters of not their concern. Then they also made sure that the retired officers are sent as ambassadors to far away country so they will not make any such plans. The military majorly got its power because of the chaos in the society of Myanmar. In Myanmar, what happened was there was so much of difference when it came to ethnicity and the racial groups and they had so much of chaos in terms of civil war, in terms of not happy with each other. There was no tolerance towards each other and this situation led to what was military rule in 1962 and until now they have not got a proper democracy. Even now they are under the military rule and this is the exact reason for how military rule started in Myanmar. So thank you, have a nice day. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. I hope you like this video so don't forget to subscribe. And uh, you can visit my blog beaware soul.com. Thank you. Have a nice day.